Hello everyone, I'm Cristian Niculescu and welcome you to another episode of Learn New Epat in 5 minutes. So today we'll talk about selectors. So for the selectors, you know, when you have a click, when you have a get something to interact with the, um, with the UI interface, basically you go here, you go on the click on the uh, element that you want to, um, uh, to automate from the application. For example, let's say on this application, I want to automate uh, uh, this one. Yeah, basically, you will have here a selector. Now, to be able to fine tune these selectors, you can go here on the in the Start UI Explorer. So on your iPad Studio, you have here UI Explorer, and with this UI Explorer, you can fine tune the selectors. Let's understand what the, what are the main ideas that I have for fine tuning the sel selectors. For example, here I have a Java application, and let's say that I want to click um, on this button. Yeah, if you want to, if I want to click on this button. I will go here, indicate, and say, click on this button. Now, the selectors first, the first thing that I will look on the selector is to see here that I have an index. So basically, he's able to find the type of the, uh, the element, but he has an index because he has multiple elements uh, in the same, uh, with the same type. So I always want to not have an index here, yeah? So I will try everything that I want to not have an index. So I will try to, uh, to use other, uh, other values, yeah. So I will use other values for the index to be able to disappear. This will allow me to uh, to make a good um, selection of the element, a clear selection, not a uh, not a selection that is depending on the index. So first thing, try to um, select the items to avoid to have an index on this one. Okay, done. If you if it's too complicated, you can have an anchor. You can make an anchor between the multiple. You have a fixed element and a variable element, and you make an anchor between a an, fixed element and a variable element. In this way, again, you will avoid to have index. Now, the second one that uh, you have to talk it's about um, when you attach to a web browser or to application. For example, here if I attach to Salesforce. I have, have here in UAPAS Studio an example. So when I attach to this one, if I take a look on the uh, on the uh, selector, you can see here that the, he is attaching to an, a system that is home Salesforce because I'm in the home of folder of Salesforce, but I can attach again to that, that page. And the page, for example, in Salesforce could be in another part. So for example, rec recent view accounts. Yeah, so to be sure that I will attach to the Salesforce, uh, Salesforce uh, system without knowing where I, I'm inside of the Salesforce system, I can do it like this. I can put, like on the regex, I can put star and basically I, this is, could be variable. So it's variable that uh, I, what I have inside of the title before Salesforce, but I'm sure that uh, this will finish on Salesforce. And this will uh, allow me to attach to a Salesforce page without, without um, me depending on what part of the page I'm inside of Salesforce. I just want to tell him that I want to attach to a Salesforce stack. Yeah, so using the, uh, the star, this um, will, define, uh, uh, will, will define a variable part, okay? And now, because we talk about variables, let's understand how we use variables inside of the, um, in the, inside of the selector. So, here you have a selector that I click here on the uh, on this one, yeah? I click on this one. So if I want to use a variable, so here is my selector. If I want to use a variable, here, take a look. Um, uh, if I want, I go here and uh, then I will click F2. I will go on this one. And I will click here, yeah? So this is my full selector. And uh, if I want to use a variable, uh, I click on the, Let's indicate again an element here, uh, this one, for example. So if I want to use a variable, I can have here the ability to choose a variable. I have some variable def defines, so I can use the, the variable from the column. Uh, I can uh, have another variable and I choose variable and I say variable for the, for the row. Yeah, and here I have a loop. So if I run this loop, you will see that uh, my, uh, my robot will click on the uh, on uh, different um, cells. Yeah, one, two, three, two. So basically, he increased the uh, the cells from more I click. Yeah. So it, in this way, you can put variables inside of your selectors. Yeah. You can create here a variable. Uh, so if you uh, if you go here and edit the selector, you can create here a variable. So you will go. You create a variable, and he will create a variable with them. Um, with the value and with the whole stuff. So basically, 
let's do this one. Old approach was very simple. Here you go here and basically you in introduce the string, uh, uh, introduce the string there. So instead of zero here, um, uh, I add int uh, column to string. Okay. So, but uh, the new approach is very nice with uh, uh, with here modifying the uh, the selectors and introducing the variable from there. As usual, if you like my movies, please subscribe to my, uh, to my channel and comment to my movies and tell me what else you want to see inside of my movies. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Stay safe. Bye-bye.